What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to react to Sebastian. My baby mama said this about me. I don't know about y'all, but if I got any single ladies in the chat with present, single baby mamas with present daddies in the chat, Put a one in the chat. Y'all know what's going on. Yo, what's good, y'all? What's good, my people? Look, so I got some stuff to say, right? So, Queen, I guess she got mad at me for trolling. And she said something. I'm going to read y'all first. I'm going to read y'all what she said. And we're going we gonna to hit everything. This is how, like, I'm going to just break everything down for y'all. You feel me? So first of all, she said, I'm, I'm reading this off right here. I probably can't see it, but I'm about to read this off. We can see it. Read it. All right, but she said, while he's laughing at me, first of all, it, I'm, 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 I'm trolling. Like, I'm not serious, bro. I can give two Fs about, you feel me? I can give. That's a lie. Out of all people to troll. Why are you trolling your baby mama, Chris? Like, God damn. How many years do we have to continue to go through the same shit? I don't understand. The girl don't say shit to you. Don't ask you for shit. Just nothing. Ain't nothing wrong with trolling. Troll on, nigga. But huh? Why? Why, why we got to keep doing that? I don't understand. Everything ain't a joke. <laughs> oh. Appreciate the gifts up, friend. Two Fs about what they got going on, so I'm just trolling. 314 like. gifted a tier one sub to Chrono underscore Ray. Big 314. 299 gift subs in the channel. Yeah, him. You feel me? But she said, while he's laughing at me, I hope this coin he making off my name help out a little bit with some of his son expenses. Now, first and foremost... Let's talk about that. Bro, Queen has never asked me for anything pertaining to our son's finances. You simple-minded man. I'm about to make my shorts. I say that every time, y'all. And guess what? Shorts don't go out. Mine. But anyway, let's, let's do man, this again. Queen has never asked me for anything pertaining to our son's financial, anything financial, because because what at the end of the day, honestly, she's making more money than me. Chris, what does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Guess what? If she was making half of the money that she was making and you was pulling in the other half, that would make it a whole you fucking. Must the baby mother ask the baby father for money? Why don't y'all understand that children need shit? Why don't y'all get that? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, uh, can you please go have on a grocery this week? Can you please get him some Chipotle? Can you get him some socks and some fruit alums? Huh? Wife beat or something. Here's my thing. You know he need it. So why she got to ask? Oh, my God. This is going to be a long video. So why would she ever need help with anything? But <laughs> she know that if she comes to me and asks, hey, could you get You make more money. Yo, why would you? Why would you need anything for me? This, of course, I would have did it. And it never even been a discussion between us. We've yeah. been broken up for six, how many years? She never even said, hey, could you do this for Chris? Now, I know some of y'all may think, okay, as a son, I mean, as a father, you may you should just go ahead and just get him things. But at the same time, it's just like, I know, it's, I mean, I guess I, I could I could have done better, like, you know what I mean? But at the same time, in my head, I'm thinking, like, he has everything over there. Are you serious? Girl, I had to get the headphones just so I could hear everything he's saying. And when he come to my house, I'll take him shopping. He has everything here. Queen don't even bring none of his clothes here. I have to go. I would send him with a wife beater and some drawers. That's it. He would.
would literally come with that and some Nike flip-flops. Why would she send them with clothes? You can't even, man. Buy him new clothes from Zagir and I'll have no problem with that. You feel me? I don't got no problem with that. I know. You only do it once a year. Yeah. But like, it's like she don't need, like she don't need to send me money when he's over here. And I thought I didn't need to send her money when, because it, it never. Men are so, and not all of them, but this type of man is so simple minded when it comes to things that really fucking matter. Nobody cares about being with you ever. That ain't what it's about, right? Because he's going to bring that up as well. But everything about the child matters. Why do men, and not all, but why do some men think children only operate off of food? I will never understand that. But the food is already high as hell. Got it, right? The clothes, high as hell. Boys' clothes, way higher than girls' clothes. I can she and cart these girls to death over here. Three she and carts for girls is a jersey um, and some nice jeans for a boy. Okay? Literally. She and carts with little three packs of t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? Some um, leggings or something. Girls can get it cute right quick. I appreciate that. Boys' shoes are way higher. Their clothes, way higher. Their book bags, way higher. Everything that they want is just way higher. It's not the fact that she need the help. It's that you're supposed to be doing it because you're a dad. You're his dad, we thought. <sighs> Never been a problem until now. Now that I'm on social media, trolling, doing nah, this and doing problem. that. Now she want to bring it up. Well, why Got haven't it. you never brought it up during text message? Why, why is she not trolling back, Chris? I thought we, we, I thought we was just trolling, Chris. Oh, shoot. So she not trolling now. Oh, she done got too serious for you. This is going to be good. You never called me and told me like, yo, why don't you ever help out with expressives? And she know I got her. Like, you know, I got you. So I think I feel like she's only doing it. The fact that he think that she, the fact that he think that she think he got her is hilarious. Simply because that I'm trolling her. So she's mad. So she's trying to find anything to just push out there. You feel me? She's trying to, you know, just use anything to push out there. Okay. But so like I said, financially, like if she ever needed anything, Come on now. You know I got my son. Like, that's my baby. You feel me? Um, she said, because I gave him grace by not putting him on child support. I've been so nice. He hasn't taught his son anything valuable. It's sad that another man had to come. First of all, let's stop right there. He, he haven't taught his son anything valuable. I teach, it, I teach my son stuff. I'm not going to. <laughs> Let me put on something he need right now. Some of this bliss sticks. Ah, uh, I got you, Chris. Ain't no problem. Hold on, wait a minute, like mm, mm, mm -hmm. God, you need it. All right, Chris. You couldn't even name one goddamn thing. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs> this thing said. I teach my son stuff. <laughs> Chris, I can tell you what you teach, baby CJ. You teach him how to hump in the camera. Right? He probably teach him how to play that game a little bit. Baby CJ probably already got that together. I ain't even gonna hold you. I ain't even gonna cap you down. Um, and let's think of something else. That's probably it. That's right. Mm, humping the camera. Mm, mm. Curse, you know, all the time. Every time baby CJ go, get over there, he cursing. And, and my kids curse, but I mean, baby CJ is like, what, eight? <laughs> I mean, like, that's all we teaching. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what you're teaching. Uh, Chris, 
I don't tell y'all what I teach them, but yes, I teach them things valuable. Shut up. Just because I'm trolling you does not mean I don't teach my son. I mean, teach my... Uh, Let me tell y'all something. When I seen Queen's response, I just felt like... Because y'all know, for those that don't know, I've clearly met Queen before. And I, I like to bring that up because I've spoken to her personally about this man. <laughs> I bring it up all the time because I said... Any of y'all favorite celebrities I've seen, if I wanted to talk about whatever I want to talk about, I'm going to say it. Queen, why you ain't got this nigga on child support? Queen, blah, blah, blah. This nigga said, oh, oh, the reason why I brought that up is because I always felt like Queen was never nasty. She was always nice nasty. And I just feel as though sometimes... Women should be nastier when a nigga do some of the things that they do. And he is one of them. Trolling her, talking about it, her, her man and, you know, how she was as a woman, her being insecure, da, da, da. Girl, she was light on this nigga and tore his ass up. Do you hear me? He is crashing out right now. He like, what you mean? You could tell he's bothered. Now you could tell he's bothered. Okay, she's being, that's just who she is. Talking to her, that's just who she is. She's not going to change. That's just kind of um, Queen's heart posture. It is what it is. But, man. <laughs> Child, anything that's, you know, anything that's valuable. That doesn't mean I don't teach them things that's valuable. You can't even name one, sir. <laughs> Can anybody, I uh, mean, like, you feel uh, me? Like, no. Uh, that just don't even make sense because you're mad at me now. I don't teach my kid anything valuable. But are you over here when my son is over here and I'm having talks with him and I'm t talking to him and um, you feel me? Like, are you over here? Like, that don't even make Nah, she probably just saying he don't use that when he get home, Chris. You know how you send your child to their grandma house and nigga come back acting totally different? Ah, uh, no. Nah, uh. Cut that phone down. Uh, 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 uh. Clean off the fucking counter. I bet when he come back from his daddy house, they got to reteach him everything that he know when he at home. Just to fuck nothing. You ain't teaching him shit. Makes sense. That's not that's not even fair to say. That's like me telling her fair. she don't teach our son nothing valuable. He's, I don't know what's going on over there. So you feel me? So I have no right to say that. So she, ladies and gentlemen, this is called gaslighting. All right, everybody love to use these words wrong, wrong. This is called gaslighting. You gonna you gonna say I don't know how to teach him nothing? When he over my house, which is um, maybe like like last summer, he didn't even come. So last year, he probably seen him once. Nigga, he be over there no more than 30 to 60 days out of the year. Stop letting these men gaslight, y'all. I mean, like, she have a right to say it, but like at the end of the day, like, it don't even make sense. She got a right to say it, but it don't make sense. It's crazy. Okay. He has taught his son. In a, uh, yeah, I saved a live. I got to save the live from yesterday, too, friend. I forgot my vote. It's sad that another man had to come and do his part shaking my head. Well, how is that sad? Like, that's another thing that I'm, I'm, I'm really just really trying to figure out, like, how is. Like, I'm I appreciate her boyfriend. For Lies. For stepping up when I can't. I can't step up the way I want to because obviously we in two different whole states. You feel me? Like I can't step up the way I want to. So I do appreciate him, but she making it seem like I'm just not involved in his life. I would love my son. I even asked her. Could I she didn't, she didn't say you weren't involved in his life. She said you're not involved financially. And that my friend is where the gaslighting comes from. Where she's saying that he had to step up is because Clarence is over there going in on that school tuition that she's paying for over there. That's why when Clarence was going back and forth with your ass, he said, how much does his tuition cost? Because he's in private school, Chris.
You don't appreciate him for all them thousands of dollars he be spending. None of y'all bum ass baby daddies do. I get my son, and and I and 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 she could tell y'all this. I even asked her, could I get my son one of the school years? Who the hell would send they baby over there with your ass, Chris? How many times I gotta come pick my baby up from the police and shit? Huh? How many times I got to get a phone call that my baby is with some other woman because you don't went to jail, Chris? And you think somebody about to let they child, I know he your child too, but at that point, uh-uh. They child, go over there with you. Shit. Full of school. Shit. Please. <laughs> because I would have, I want that privilege of taking him to school every day and helping him with his homework. So that don't even make sense. So I don't know if she's <laughs> saying like stepping up in regards to like I'm not in his life. The only time a female should say another man is stepping up is if the man is not, is if the father isn't allowed. And I mean, not isn't allowed. But you can't even say it. Isn't involved in his life. You're not. I don't know what's up with you niggas thinking a little couple door dashes and a couple V bucks and a little bit of FaceTime is worth a damn. It ain't. We watched you travel to what's y'all the name who just had the twins? What's her name? What's y'all the name who just had them twins? I can't think of her name. Leslie. We watched you travel over to Florida when you was on probation, which means you had to ask. If you could go to Florida. Now you are off probation and you still ain't caught a flight to go see your son. But you so involved. It's two niggas that I watch every day on Instagram and every month they fly back to Atlanta to go see their daughter. Uh, well, one to see their daughter and the other one, he was flying to New York to go see his son every month. Every month. Nigga, please. This why y'all feel the way y'all feel about King. I understand now. <laughs> I understand now. <laughs> and y'all know I love my son to pieces. And I am involved in his life. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So that don't even make sense. I do appreciate him. Like, mm -hmm. I do. Even though I be trolling him or do this, I appreciate him. Like, I will have a talk with Clarence. Like, if he ever mm -hmm. wanted to talk or, you feel me, if we ever mm -hmm. got to be in the same room. I even said that once before. Like, you feel me? Even if we got to be in the same room. But, like... Yeah, I don't know what she mean by that. Like, step up. I'm, I'm, that's not a bad thing, though. We, we looking at that as a bad thing in this society, but it's not. Especially if he's involved in his life and he's teaching him the right things to do. And he's being a good example. And I'm, you feel me? Mm -mm. And I'm not being a bad example of what I'm saying. Like, I'm not being, like, I know my son on social media. I'm not being a bad example of what mm -hmm. I'm saying. So I'm not saying anything to. Uh-huh. To um uh -huh. to degrade his mom or anything. Like, I'm not. It's not like huh? I'm saying she did. She did. She a three. Y'all, what's wrong with this man? What's what's wrong with this man? I ain't gonna lie. Queen told me he was a little slow. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But huh? Oh man. I, oh shit. She this. I'm not doing any of that. You feel me? That's that's crazy. Um, like, huh? Um, it said that in the man, da, da, da. and yeah, he may have made me a wife quickly, <coughs> but he also put bruises on me during the marriage. Um, choked me up, ruined my self confidence, calling me ugly. I did play a part in ruining her self confidence, if you will. But can I be honest? She was already insecure, and I always tried to make her feel beautiful. Up until, you know how, y'all know, come on now, y'all know how relationships are. When y'all get mad at each other, y'all say hurtful things. But that was later on down the line. In the beginning... I can't even disagree with that part. We all be saying fucked up shit to each other. Got it. Why are you taking your big-ass hand and rubbing makeup off her face? Like, what is that? Like, what? Huh? Why are we doing that? And she said, saying things to each other is one thing. Why are we putting bruises on each other? Like, what the fuck? Not each other. Why are you putting bruises on her? <laughs> saying shit is totally different from doing shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Everybody had a moment where they crashed out. I told y'all I crashed out the other day, okay? But my nigga, just imagine y'all about to go out. Oh, also, she couldn't wear bathing suits and shit. Like, weird. Y'all, y'all about to go out. Or, or excuse me, she about to go out. And a nigga take his big ass hand and rub it across your face to take your makeup off. Get the fuck out of here. You already came with baggage. You already, you already was insecure. So you feel me? That was baggage I mean, is I don't insecure. Know, like yeah. I mean, obviously y'all want to understand that because y'all weren't in a relationship. But she was already insecure. No, we know how insecure a Queen is and was. We all know, even Clarence. But she damn sure ain't saying he was doing the same shit you doing. A lot of women insecure, but goddamn, rubbing her makeup across her face a way to help, way to help the insecurities. Goddamn, she already was. She, she, I had to reinsure, I mean, give her reinsurance every day that we was in a relationship. She used to always ask me, am I ugly? Am I fat? Does this, does this? I'm not will always tell her no. But then after a certain while, yeah, I started thinking she was ugly. And yeah, I started thinking she was fat because of her projections on herself. And it affected me too. Like if every day you keep asking me, do I look ugly? Am I fat? Am I this? Of course I'm a, you feel me? Of course I'm a, <clears throat> of course I'm a, uh, start thinking that. Okay, clearly he couldn't handle that mentally, which I get it. I get it. For, some of y'all may not understand. Some women do project their shit onto you. I'm sorry, y'all. That's one thing I kind of uh, agree with them on. Um, There's no reason to consistently call yourself ugly because I'm going to tell y'all right now. If you don't think you're beautiful or if you don't treat yourself like a queen and things like that, then... Why would you expect somebody else to do so? But it has to be a patient man to do that or a patient person. And he's just not that person. He's not that person. That's what anybody, you feel me? But, um, uh, he, him and queen after giving birth to his child was absolutely not meant to be at all. Especially and, and right. You're right. After the child is even worse. Um, because I definitely forgot that part of it. I forgot that aspect of it. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. But that's that's why I was saying to y'all the other day, I don't know why men always want to rush to have children when the woman, some women, body just fall apart and they just hate it after that. Some men hate that shit. And he's one of them. Carla stepped out. Uh, our marriage countless of times. Hogged all the money we made and other unspeakable things. Now, I did keep the money in my account because I thought growing up a Christian or seeing how my dad, like my dad always took care of the finances. So it's not like I hogged it from her. Like she couldn't do anything. She didn't, she had everything. She bought, like I didn't hog it. Like that's just my, that was just my mentality. Now, if I get a girlfriend, of course. No, nah, that's just a lie. <laughs> that right there is just a lie, Chris. <laughs> I will say he finally admitted it, but that right there is just a lie. So, when y'all do, it, when it's a channel together and you make millions of dollars on a channel, it's no way that woman shouldn't have a portion of that money, period. Like, and it depends on who doing the editing, who started it, da, da, da. So in some cases, sometimes the nigga will have more of the money because nine times out of ten, he the one who doing the most. But if it's the opposite way around, I think the woman should. Y'all know how that go. I heard her ask for Tupperware one time, y'all. I will never forget that Tupperware. Literally was like, Chris, uh, baby, we need some Tupperware. But da da da. He was like, no. Y'all, the man was making over $100,000 a month. You can't get no Tupperware? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great. First, she get her own bank account. I got my own bank account. I think different now. That was my first real relationship. That's what... Of course, it's going to be shit that I did that I messed up on that I can change from now. Like, of course, I kept the, all the money in my bank account. Of course. That's just how I was taught in the church. It was, the man was the head of the household, and he took care of the finances. The the, the woman took care of the household. Asked him just, to buy so, makeup. So when she said, like, <clears throat> I hold all the finances, like, I'm confused. Like, like, we didn't share it, though. We still shared it. It just came to my bank account. Like, she knew if she ever asked for something, she had it. Like, that don't, you feel me? No. Like, that don't make sense. Like, she had a car. She had clothes. She had designer shit. And the nigga took the car. 
<laughs> she had this, she had that, but that don't even, you feel me? That the nigga even, took the car. <laughs> no matter, but anyways. Yeah. Um, and y'all, they made that money together. That be my whole issue right there. Together. Together. Because the shit said Queen and Chris, or Chris and Queen channel, together. Come on, bro. That's crazy. All the money we made and other unspeakable things, but laughing at me because I haven't married again yet. And people can't, like, you, like if, if that was worlds was reversed, right? I wouldn't, I, me personally, I wouldn't be mad if she made a video about me. That's just how I think. You feel me? That's just that's just me. That's a lie, because since she's been seeing these interviews, we've been coming out bitter as hell. He mad as hell. But, well, because she telling her truth, he don't like it. Like, I wouldn't have got mad if she came out and said some shit like, oh, that's why Chris can't get a girlfriend. I would just be laughing at it. I, I wouldn't take it to heart when everybody else is. Everybody talking about your relationship, not just me. You feel me? Like, why do I get the, like, why you got to come at me? You feel me? Yeah, I seen, uh, I see 10,000 videos on TikTok a day about their relationship. You feel me? I see 10, like, literally, like, all I see is this, that, this, that. Oh, he won't propose to her, oh, this or that. So I didn't think it was a big deal. I didn't think she was going to get, you know, get mad because I'm trolling. And she know I'm not serious, but anyways, I rather take my time in a healthy relationship than be in a than be in a traumatic relationship. Um, okay, anybody would. You didn't have to say that. Hmm. Um, you would have think that he'd done some self work to become a better man after all these years, but no. How do you know I'm not a? Put Chris Hills on live, and there's a video when he went live yesterday. Uh, live where? But in your eyes, I'm not a better man because I'm trolling you. I know I became a better man. That's all that matters is self. I know me personally, deep down inside, I know I became a better man. Like, I haven't became a better man for you. Is that what you're talking about? We're not together. I don't need to become a... You see what I'm saying? He actually, like... It's, it's, it's kind of crazy to me how niggas really think you still want them. Sometimes it, it, how the woman act will, okay? But, man, don't nobody want you, gang. <laughs> Not to be a better man for me. Be a better man in general world. And leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a better man for you. Because you can't say I'm not a better man. You think he a prize. General, Hello. Because you don't know me anymore. And, and you, you don't, don't know her. Me, that makes me he a... keeps saying all the time, I know Queen. He was just saying that, what, like last year? Two years ago? I know Queen. You don't know her. You don't know her at all. A bad anymore. person that makes me a, like, what? That don't even make sense. Like, everything that she's saying just don't make sense to me. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it a book. We know. That's um, why y'all not together no more. Thank God. Uh, still a delusional, narcissistic. Uh, he can't even say Narcissistic it. liar. I can only pray my son doesn't turn out like him. Fair. I hope oh, he God. don't turn out like me either, to be honest. That's the truth. I hope he's way 10 times better than me. I'm not a bad person because of a relationship. I don't care what nobody says. I'm not a bad person. I'm the most sweetest, genuine person in, in, per, uh, in, in person. Like, I put others before me. That's my problem. I, hope that I, I think Chris is a genuine person, just not Sebastian. So many people. She's not going to tell you nothing good I did, obviously, but... Armand and Trey, anybody that knew me, I know they never came out and said anything like, oh, besides the relationship that y'all saying, he's actually a good person. He actually has a kind heart. He actually look out for others. Y'all don't know that side of me. And I don't expect y'all to know that side of me. But every time... I disagree. All them niggas got a bad because of you. I don't care what they say either. You was the start of that bag. Out of, out of everybody, he helped with people get that bag. Y'all literally... He did. He did. I don't care how y'all how y'all want to cut it. That nigga moved everybody in his own house, his house. Messed up his entire marriage, by the way. But moved everybody in his house to get a bag, and that right there he did do. So I'm with him when he write on that. One. Um, she gets on this app. 
it's like she's tarnishing like she don't you feel me she speak no. bad about me everything everything is just bad everything i can say a thousand good things about her right now he haven't i can say i can say a thousand good things but that wouldn't even matter because at the end of the day i know she wouldn't do it i know she wouldn't <sighs> come on the home and be like you know chris was a good person but he has a big heart he care about others he helped me when I was, he helped my people out. He did this, he did this. She would never say those things. And I don't blame her. You feel me? But, um, <sighs> my son doesn't turn out like him. He needs to see God. Who he stopped believing in? Okay, anyways. On my soul, I don't know what to say. I'm just speechless in this. I don't know what to say. I'm just speechless. Cause at the end of the day, there's no hate in my heart. Y'all can look at me in the eye, there's no hate in my heart towards her or Clarence. I literally just be trolling. Like, honest to God, like I really don't care. Like I just I'm just having fun, like, you feel me? And I'm just really telling my truth in a funny way. But I feel like my truth is she, it's, it's a problem when I do it, but it's 10,000 other people doing it, but it's just a problem when I do it, when Chris do it. You feel me? I guess I can't do it or talk on, speak on a relationship or anything. I just can't. You feel me? But at the end of the day... Y'all don't have that relationship. Y'all not cool. Y'all not... Oh, and you not a T-Page for real? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. Um, Because y'all know me. I'm, I'm going to react to everything till I D.I.E. Like, niggas... <laughs> Niggas be killing me, especially Corey. This nigga Corey was like, I never become a T page. You ain't got to. But I will forever react to whatever's going on. Uh, uh, everybody reacts on a day to day basis. I mean, it's to the point where mainstream companies are paying people to come react to things. Okay. It's a reaction to everything, it's a commentator for everything, it's an opinion on everything. Like, Y'all cannot like this all you want, but it, I think it's hilarious that everybody was telling me, you know, what I was and what I wasn't, and now they all doing the same shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's funny as hell. That one video shit get old. That 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 prank shit, it get old. Okay? You get old. Don't nobody want to keep talking about your bald head ass? Everybody, you everybody had a moment where they lit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had a moment when, when they lit. But all good things or all things come to an end. It's time to talk about somebody else. <laughs> it's time for somebody else to do their thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could never trick me out my situation. Ever. And they have tried to for so many years. I don't give a fuck what y'all talk about. Literally yesterday, right? We all sitting there minding our business. Niggas be twiddling their fingers like, what I'm going to do today? Let me go to the shade room or just let me just subscribe to the internet right quick. Boom. Tamar is spilling beans. You like, oh shit. What is going on, Tamar? What happened? So she like, this motherfucker done used my car to go such and such, <laughs> to go to a hotel. <laughs> this motherfucker used my car to go to a hotel. He was with some other woman. He basically stole $1,100. And we all looking like, who? <laughs> you know <laughs> White chocolate come out and he like, Quite frankly, I didn't want to speak on this, but since I got to, you know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and spill the bean. So then he get to spilling the bean, get to telling us about her anxiety and medication. <clears throat> Y'all, my point is, we ain't asked for none of that shit yesterday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I think it's hilarious that people actually get angry at you for talking about what the fuck you done came and told me. I, I, I be mad all you want, but shit, you the one who put me in the chat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
you put me in the chat? Then you just get to becoming all kind of broke ass niggas and. Appreciate the five gifty, huh? Yo, like, come on, bro. Shit be crazy. <laughs> um, I'm a man. I told y'all I made mistakes. I made plenty of mistakes, and I'm gonna keep making mistakes. I'm not perfect. You <sighs> feel me? At the end of the day, but like I said, I mean. All that shit was just BS to me, to be honest. I'm not even gonna hold you. We not surprised. Like, all Chris. that was BS Got to it. me. And um We not surprised at yeah. all, actually. I don't know what else to say to be honest. The whole everything just blew me, like everything. The whole The the money you making on my name, you can help with some of your kids. You ask me and you know I got you. Just like what? She have never came. That's how you know she's just doing this for social media at this point. Yeah. Nigga, she couldn't ask you for Tupperware in your relationship. Chris. God. Men. Oh. Fuck. And not all men, once again. Some of y'all simple-minded pieces of tissue. Okay? I just don't get it. <laughs> Like, you know damn well he go to a private school, or maybe you don't. Clarence called that nigga out on knowing the um knowing the um address of the school. <laughs> Clarence was like, what's the address to the school? Hold on. Y'all. Oh, okay, they did an interview with him. Okay, um, yeah, address, what's the address to the school? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you were involved, you would know, but that means you're not involved. When baby CJ graduated, you didn't come. You didn't come. So it's like, She just making, she just saying shit that that was gonna sound good and what people gonna gravitate to. Because at the end of the day, bro, you never asked me to help Chris, uh, help with uh, Chris's with anything. You feel me? Just with nothing. And I send him money here and there. If he asks me, Chris, that he never barely asks me for money. But when he do ask me for money, I give it to him. Like if you rather it's anything little or. Whether it's V-Bucks or whatever the case may be, anything my son asks me for, I will get it for him. The only thing that I'll oh, never got my son that he asked for is a monkey. Friend, whoever just sent me this, damn, this happened yesterday. We got to react to that. I'm probably going to put it on Patreon, but we reacting to that right there. I'm not taking care of no damn monkey. Thank you for sending me and that. And I know he's not. I know his mom going to not let him take a monkey over there. So at the end of the day, my son has everything he wants, everything he needs. Thanks, thank to both the both of us. I'm not gonna just say it was on her. I'm not gonna say it was just on me. We both made a way to make him have a lifestyle that, you know. Oh yeah, like better we than definitely. Than I'm saying that my, that. my life was bad as a, as a teenager or when I was younger, um, but just so he can just have a better life, so he won't have to uh, uh, struggle. I or, see, and, Yana, and, and and financially, you know. Um, so we both, we both paid a way for him to, you know, and then she can have abundances for her family, um, legend, you know, now legend not going to have to work for anything. Not Clarence ain't going to have to work for anything. <laughs> you know, he don't work at all. <laughs> you know, Clarence don't work, but yeah, like I'm just saying, like that was a troll. You feel me? Like I'm, I'm proud of, of us. To be honest. I never thought that he disliked Clarence. I don't think Clarence disliked him. I think that he has terrible humor, but I also don't. Well, I also know that he don't understand that you're not. You're not as as as. Um, you're not as present as you think. Like. Ain't no way my son graduating. I ain't on a flight. What you mean? 
If you okay with being in a room with Clarence, you should have just went to the damn graduation. Hell, if I ain't mistaken. Well, no, because uh, CJ going to have to graduate from uh, middle school then to go to high school, right? So he just graduated recently, not too long ago, if I ain't mistaken. Yeah, because Clarence was there. Um, that's the shit that Clarence had to pick up because your ass wasn't putting it down. Only thing you put down was that shrimp, Chris. That, that was it. You just put down a little bit of shrimp. But come on, life is it's more to life than some shrimp. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. God damn, boy. I, I would not be able to like, A, have a baby daddy. Oh, my God. At one point, I really wanted to do that. <laughs> like, y'all, I told y'all. For those that don't know, I was ready to do it and everything. Let me go ahead and give me a baby daddy. Call me a dick dyke, whatever you want. I don't give a fuck. I wanted the experience because I'm like yearning for a child per se at that time. Not no more. Uh, -uh. I, for some reason I wanted to experience the bullshit that y'all experience. Never, never. I don't want to ever experience that shit ever. First of all, I don't want no dick. <laughs> Let's talk about that. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> need it okay but also it's just not worth it shut the fuck up Chrissy it's just not worth it I don't see how y'all do that I don't see how y'all go through what you go through <sighs> and then a nigga nigga be looking at you like this a nigga would be dead ass serious like look look me in my eyes look look at me in my eyes you trying to tell me I'm not there for my son? <laughs> Twelve twenty two in the chat. Like for real? Like, yeah, Ninja, that's what I'm telling you. And then as a woman, like, you can't even, like, calmly be like, nigga, no. You know what I'm saying? It'll never come out like that. And even if you did say it like that, he would still gaslight you into thinking he is there for him. So you could be like, why you ain't come to his graduation? Because I was, on, I was on probation, you know that. But you went to see Leslie. Oh, what Leslie got to do with this? Now you want to be with me. Like, why you over here pocket watching on my women and shit? Now, now he think you want to be with him. When in reality, all you trying to use the example of is that you travel to another state to see another person and not your son. So then y'all got to go into deeper holes of what happened in your relationship. Because now he think you want, you want him. Like, this is some stupid. This is diabolical. This, this is terrible. Say that without y'all getting mad. I'm proud of us for making a way for our son so he can be in a good position in life, period. I'm proud of us. You feel me? <sighs> so. I'd rather chew a cactus than deal with that. Baby, I'm with you when you write. Cactus me. <laughs> Baby, call me Cactus Jack, okay? I don't want it. <laughs> Woo! I don't want it. Okay? Girl. Niggas. <laughs> yeah, so I I'd rather mop the ocean. Do you hear me, Jim? Then deal with the, a nigga like this. To deal with a baby daddy at all, that is the most ghetto shit I've ever ran into in my life. I mean, at the end of the day... Um, Mop the ocean. 
Saying it all. Yeah. With a baby daddy like this, this shit is ridiculous. The fact that he actually can take credit outside of that shrimp is just is what's bothering me. And think because the, the child be over there for 30 to 60 days, in his case, is something. You're not waking them up for school, you know what I'm saying? You're not dealing with the conversations that they come to you with, the insecurities. You're not dealing with the actual realities of their growth and how um, they need to, you know, just move in general. Like, it, it's so much to a child. Like, <sighs> No, I feel like we just need to have a talk. Oh. I feel like we just need to have a have sit down and have a talk. Well, that's it. I don't know. I don't know crazy stuff, but like just sit down and have a talk. Clarence can be there. Like we just need to sit down and have a talk. You feel me? Because like at the end of the day, I have no animosity toward you. I, I, I would like to have a sit down and talk to to both of you. You feel me? To let you guys know, I really don't. I don't. I mean, even though they don't, I feel like that wouldn't matter to y'all because y'all don't give a. F y'all would. I feel like y'all wouldn't care if I didn't like y'all or not. But I have nothing against y'all. You feel me? But um, I don't know why when I did it. I just I'm just still confused at why when I did it. It was just a big. It was just a, it was just a uh, big problem or it was a big deal. I don't know. I don't know why when I did it it was a big deal. I really don't know. Maybe because it's a little, maybe because you're still sensitive in those areas or you still like, and that's okay. Like if, if, if certain things you're like still bothers you, like if I still bother you, that's understandable. Like if I'm like. Am I not reading this motherfucker like a book? <laughs> They're so predictable. Now you think I miss you. Or like, I'm feeling some type of way about whatever happened in the relationship because you're not financially helping me with your son. Oh, okay. Okay. Still a, <laughs> still a, um, what word am I looking for? If you still hurt in certain areas and you see me, you feel me? Like, I don't even know how, how to say this, but... Because uh, you don't know don't what you're talking I'm... about. Yeah, it's like one-on-one -on -one just gone absolutely wrong. Because guess what? If he was talking to her, it would have turned into an argument. It's just... Man. <laughs> you know why? Um, you feel me? Like, I don't know why. Oh, shit. I'm, um... You know why you get bothered by me? That, that's it. That's it. That's it. But um, 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 yeah. But just know my son is good. Like I'm, I'm gonna teach him how to become a way better man than me. That's all I know. I'm gonna teach him about life. And you can't teach him how to become a better man than you when you're already. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Teach. I'm. I'm going to teach him a lot. He, he's at that age now. I've Ooh. already been <clears throat> talking to him about certain things. So. You know, and then on top of that, she not hold on. She not even going to tell y'all that she wanted to take away from my so time on the summertime. Because I get I suppose to get them every summertime. Right. But she said her mom wanted to see her, which was going to leave me with like two weeks, only like two weeks. And I said, you know what? You can keep them the whole summertime. You know, just let me get them next summer. And it's good. She's not going to tell y'all that. She's not going to tell y'all that. Chris, you already told us that. I don't know if y'all be, if it's like the Percocets or the vapes. But for some reason, everybody is forgetting that we already know. You came out and told us that. But you know, you gaslighting piece of shit, you. Your son actually said that he wanted to go see his grandmother. You remember you had... You're, you remember you had said that? 
That's actually what you had said that that day. But Chris said he wanted to he wanted to see his grandma, so I can't stop him from seeing his grandma. I'll just get him next summer. <sighs> hey. She not gonna tell you. I have the messages. She was like, yo, my mom wanna see him. Can she get him during this time? Like my mom wanna see him during this time. And now and that cuts into my and it's my time to see him. That's why I You should have said no then. Have my son this summer. But it's I'm it's not a big deal. You feel me? I'm I'm gonna see my son next summer. I'm gonna see him on holidays. Like it's cool. Like I'm not tripping, especially if my son wanted to do that, let him do what he wants. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. He wanted to do it. He's old enough to say he wanna do it now. <sighs> wanna do. Like, you feel me? Like, if my son want to go see his, see his grandma, then that's what he want to go do, you know? Then what you trying to show queen receipts for? <laughs> you, what did we, why did we have to T-page that? <laughs> I don't but, um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm not a bad person, y'all. I'm not. I don't care what nobody said. I'm not a this bad This man is not a bad person. You just confused. Literally. And you are, you keep saying it anyway. So you definitely confused. Person, I'm not about to keep saying that because I know I'm not a bad person. So I don't need nobody else's, um, you know, approval. approval. There you go, Chris. If you will. I don't need nobody else's approval when it comes to that. Um, maybe when I get a girlfriend, I'll leave her alone on social media. Maybe when I get a girlfriend or something like that, it's going to be a love minute because these hoes, these hoes is, um, Gold diggers, nah. All of them, man. But, um, that's all I got to say. And, that's it. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm out. Where you, where you, where you, where you, where you hood at? Well, that was a long hour of shit. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.